It's the federal trial that many people believe could shake up the political landscape in Rensselaer County. Day one of jury selection is just wrapping up in the trial of three county officials accused of trying to rig the election back in 2021. Dan Levy is live outside U.S. District Court in Albany with day one of jury selection. Dan, good evening to you. Good evening, Sabrina and Mark. They began early this morning and they wrapped up within the last hour. Twelve jurors are now in place and four alternates still need to be uh, selected. That'll take place the first thing tomorrow morning. Over the course of the next three weeks, defendants Rich Chris, Jim Gordon, Leslie Wallace might hear from up to 50 government witnesses. Now, if that were to happen, if they were to be found guilty of violating constitutional rights of others, the punishment could be severe. They are accusations against people who wield a great deal of political power over others, but as of now, that's all they are, accusations. Rich Christ, Jim Gordon, and Leslie Wallace are charged with conspiring to violate voters' constitutional rights by allegedly forcing dozens of county employees to sign absentee ballots and voter registration forms in order to cast fraudulent votes for their own chosen candidates. Steve McLaughlin is the Rensselaer County Executive who appointed them all. He is not charged in this alleged scheme. But it is thought to be McLaughlin who the defendants were allegedly trying to help reelect. Fifty names were on the government's witness list. Among them, half a dozen FBI agents, several alleged victims of the alleged crime, and several current and former elected officials, including McLaughlin. But also former GOP elections commissioner Jason Schofield, who's currently awaiting sentencing for his conviction in a voting fraud case, along with Kim Ash McPherson, the one-time Troy councilwoman, who also got tangled up in a fraudulent election scheme. Well, I did mention that the consequences are severe for violating the constitutional rights of others. If found guilty, they could face 10 years in prison. Now, in addition, Wallace is also charged with lying to the FBI, and that carries a maximum penalty of five years. Jim Gordon is also charged with witness tampering, and that carries a maximum penalty of up to 20 years. And again, 12 jurors have been seated. Four alternates need to be selected. That'll take place tomorrow morning. Live in Albany with coverage you can trust. Dan Levy, News Channel 13. Mark, Sabrina, back to you. Dan, thank you.